onion and garlic free making it ideal for all special days for vrats also so it's through this season this timeless recipe has been passed down from generations what we're going to see right now is hebra hema subramanian's expert guidance that's going to make it easy for you to replicate this as at home as she does for her millions of followers every day get ready to indulge with these delicious these crunchy rice crackers that stay fresh for up to 5 days take a look Hello everyone I'm Hema Subramanian and today on the Breakfast Club I'm going to show you how to make this South Indian style crispy savory snacks called tatte otherwise known as rice crackers this is a gluten free recipe so let's get started and check it out I have all the ingredients ready for making the rice crackers here so first we need to make a masala paste for this recipe to the mixer jar I'm adding a few curry leaves one finely chopped piece of ginger and three roughly chopped green chilies We have to coarsely grind this without adding any water. Remove the mixture that stuck to the sides and then grind it again. So if you see the masala mixture for the rice crackers is ready now. Now it has to be coarse like this. Keep this aside. So next for making the dough, we need to take 2 cups of rice flour in a large bowl. To this add about quarter cup of soaked chana dal. Now I have soaked it in water for about an hour. Next, add the ground green chili, ginger and curry leaves paste. This is the main part of this recipe because all the flavor comes from this paste alone. Now add 1 tsp of salt, 1/2 tsp turmeric powder, 2 tsp kashmiri red chili powder, 1 tsp cumin seeds, 2 tsp sesame seeds, 1/4 tsp asafoetida powder and 2 tsp unsalted butter. I've added all the required items here. So now I'm just going to mix everything together. So now I'm going to add nice hot boiling water to this in order to prepare a chapati like dough. Gradually add this hot water to get a perfect consistency. Now make sure you mix with a spatula or a plain ladle to avoid any burns on your hands. After 1 to 2 minutes the extreme heat comes down. and then you can just mix it with your hands if you let it completely cool it will become very dry so try preparing the dough while it's still a little hot the dough is ready now so you can keep it aside for at least 10 minutes after 10 minutes pour enough oil to a kadai for deep frying and just heat it in the meantime spread some oil over a banana leaf and place a little portion of the dough here Now gently press the dough and flatten it with your hands. Now you can also moisten your hands at intervals to work with the dough easily. So after you gently press it evenly, if you can see the dough will be nice and flat like this. Don't make it too thick or too thin. Once the oil is hot, gently drop in the pressed dough. Flip the rice crackers gently to make sure that they are fried evenly on both sides. So this will take some time to fry because it has to cook through. Once they are golden brown on all sides, remove them from the kadai. So your crispy rice crackers that is the rice tatte are ready to be enjoyed. Now you can store these rice crackers in an airtight container and enjoy them for more than about 4 to 5 days. Make sure you cool these crackers completely before storing. You can make these on normal days or you can also prepare these for special festivals too. Wow, the rice crackers are so crispy and so tasty. The key is to deep fry them slowly so that you get this lovely rich brown color and they turn nice and crispy. And this is a gluten-free snack that you can enjoy this festive season. Do give it a try, share it with your family and friends and keep watching the Breakfast Club.